point of being human, and as you know, we're joined by the vampire ghost and the werewolf, Sam Whitworth, Megan Rath, and Sam Huntington, and it's all going down in front of a live studio audience. Yes. Woo! And, uh... Oh, I love doing that. I love being, having an audience, because at any point you can say, woo, and... Oh. <laughs> Nice. Lots of fun. Uh, now, the, the great... Sorry, that was a little dismissive. I was like, I've got a question I've got to ask here. It didn't, it, you meant it wasn't fun. No, it wasn't fun. Did you hear fun. that? Did you, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. Teddy. Lots of fun. Great. Back to I'm trying to. I'm trying to rein it back in I here. I ain't bad at There's you. questions on these cue cards. Okay. They are important. I don't want any trouble. AJ Friday. All right, let me just uh, let me do this professionally then. <clears throat> Each of you... <laughs> What real life issues? Uh, oh, Teddy, Teddy truncated these, so they don't even make grammatical <laughs> sense. Uh, basically, uh, you're dealing with real life issues, but in a supernatural way. Yeah. Uh, tell me about that. How do you, why do you think that's? A, you? We got into it a bit already, but it really. Yeah, is I mean, it's, real life it, issues, we're yeah. we're really trying to ensure on the show that these uh, the supernatural stuff is always grounded in in real life stuff. I mean, one thing that we didn't talk about just now is, for example, our, our vampires are maybe a little bit different than what you're used to. For example... You can see his own reflection, I noticed. Yes, uh -huh. and we can be out in daylight, but it's uncomfortable. But moreover, we try to ground that as well. Like Bishop's vampire family is portrayed kind of like a low-rent mafia family. And, right. uh, and for example, you know, there's a, if you go and commit a crime, you need a cleanup crew and remove mm. the forensic evidence of you ever being there because, you know, you have to... You, this is a, a real world, and we're trying to really portray that. Right. You know? and, yeah. and so, for example, we shot this one scene that happens later on in the season where there's a gathering of vampires, and you'd imagine, you know, with a bunch of leather pants and people going, <laughs> you know, and, and just like, emo. they're all in a nightclub and they're just, you know, yeah, hey, I'm a vampire, you too, yeah, how could you tell? And, uh, and so, <laughs> but our, our vampires, when we looked around and saw who they cast as the vampires, I mean, some of them looked like school teachers, some of them looked like college kids, some of them looked like fathers, and it was just regular people. One of them was actually my dad. And, and he was wearing leather no, no, pants no, no, and a long no. coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is weird. Yeah, yeah. He, well, he wasn't wearing anything under yeah, the long coat. Comes. But we really try to ground these things and really ground the metaphors, you know, saying mm. that, that anyone can have these problems and they hide them from everyone else. And so right. we really try to make it uh, a gritty reality on this show. I mean, even if there's any action sequences and stuff, they're not pretty fights that happen in the show. They're very uh, uncomfortable to watch. They're street fights. Mm -hmm. cool. Well, you we were just talking about, you know, modifying the mythology of vampires for this series, uh, setting up new ground rules. We got some rapid-fire questions for you now. Do it. Yes. On, uh, on the mythology of uh, vampires, werewolves, Wait, is this and the ghosts. Wait, that we were talking this about? Is the other oh, oh, no. Get ready. Get ready. Sorry. Get ready. Sorry. Get ready. Uh, that, that seat just became the hot seat. All right, right. first up, Bram Stoker's Dracula, written in 1897, though universally popular, has recently gone out of print. True or false? False. Oh. That is, that is correct. Yeah. Never gone out of friends. Good That's job. Not have All right, next up. Book has never that was amazing, guys. That was a trick one. Get it right? Nothing. You guys right. got to answer, too, though. You're not so going to get it. Whoever answers the fastest. Yeah, jump in. Okay. All right. Uh, the wolf in Little Red Riding Hood. Are we competing with each other or against you? Why not? Uh, I don't we know if there's a prize. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Here the here wolf go. in Little Red Riding Hood is considered a werewolf. True or false? False. False. Oh, true. true. The most widely known werewolf story, according to the internet, where he got a research. Is it really? Well, everything is true on this. Hey, listen. <laughs> you we went to the Wikipedia for Little Red wow. Riding Hood. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you're right about that interweb. <laughs> Everything's true. Yeah. I, I have an interesting one about ghosts. Everything is true on there. Cell phones are killing off ghosts. False. Is this true or false? False. Oh, this is true. According to the internet. Yeah, again, according to well, Tony again, Cornell. And I believe it, boys. Tony Cornell, who's an academic, says that ghost sightings began to decline when mobile phones were introduced some 15 years ago. Cell phones no. killing ghosts. That's well, Damn, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. That's awesome. Oh! That's, no, that's, well, that's really cool because that's what they should have done the whole time. Uh, Ray, look out. It's Egon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got him, Ray. We got him. We got him. Bigman, we got him. <laughs> Wait, Angry Birds. Angry Birds, Bigman. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Uh, that's right. an excellent accurate. Do you like that? That's well really good. Thank you. Sam Whitworth, oh, master of impressions. Yeah, yeah. You have no idea. All right. <laughs> By the end of the 20th century, over 300 motion pictures were made about vampires, and over 100 of them featured Dracula. True or false? True. That is true. There you go. Megan's. I got the vampire question, yeah, yeah. so I'm winning. We can assume. Right, this is a werewolf centric one. Holy water can kill a werewolf. True or false? False. false. That is correct. Oh, oh, we we thought we'd throw you throw off time. with that one, but uh, another, <laughs> another ghost one. Animals are the most prone to seeing ghosts. True. true. Going yes. into the internet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if my cat or dog has ever seen a ghost. Hard to ask them. Did you ask? Yeah. Yeah. Just meow. Yeah. 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 You don't know. Uh, well, that's all we have for the rapid fire, but I understand oh, that we have cool. a question in the audience, so let's Indeed. go out to the, the audience here. Yes, sir. All right, uh, I know you guys uh, play supernatural characters on the show, but I was wondering if you actually believe in the supernatural, and if you do, uh, if you've had any supernatural experiences. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah. I definitely have. I, I've believed in them my entire life. The first house I ever lived in was haunted. There was a grave in the backyard. So I, I sort of was they bred on that your stuff. They just moved the headstones and built your house, huh? On an actual graveyard, That yeah. never works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We moved. Same poltergeist. What about you guys? Any well. supernatural I, I, I had a pretty weird experience happen to me one time when I was, I was at my, my parents' house in New Hampshire, and I, was, I went to bed at around 11 o'clock 
uh, and uh, uh, wake up at around 1 a.m. And, uh, and I just remember something outside my door uh, that was, it was, it was ba it's dangerous. And I was like, I need to get out of this, this room. So I, so I opened the, open the window. Was it Sam Witwer? <laughs> it was Sam. End of the story. Flash forward. We're going to Tarantino this. It was Sam Witwer. Now back, back to back, it. Back, back. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so I open the window. I take the screen off. I get, I prop myself up. And, and I'm, I'm planning on just hanging and then dropping, floating to the ground. Out the window. Out the window. Yeah. So I prop myself up. This is a true story, by the way. Prop myself up. And as soon as my, my elbows break, you know, bend like this, I fall. <laughs> on two stories down to the dirt. Naked. The, naked. Okay. So I, I picture, and this is like rural New Hampshire, middle of nowhere. So I picture like people, and this is of sleepwalking. This is what happened. Right. Ah. Yeah. And so, but I still think that there was something behind that. Ghost of door it sleepwalking. It was like a poltergeist. There was something going on. Yeah, that, that's, oh, that's okay. the story. There was okay, something okay, going okay. on. Teddy yeah. trying to capture your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Was. That's what it was. I was trying to be you. That's what it was. I, I just love it. The only, even the suggestion of something wrong. You don't need specificity. Be like, Sam, there is something wrong over there. He's exactly. like, whoa. Jump, take off my clothes, jump out the window. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it takes. Yeah. All right, we got lots more show coming up, including we're going to talk about the fact that though this show is set in Boston, the series is actually shot in our own backyard in Montreal. We'll be chatting about that after the break, and we'll get some of the dirt on the creepy sets that they shoot on on Being Human. Ooh.